Doctor Who, The Voice of the Dead, the 2007 Christmas special, and this episode is a lot of fun. I do think it is the weakest out of the bunch, out of just, oh, the, like, the David Tennant, uh, Doctor Who Christmas specials, but it's, it's still fun, you know, it is, you know, probably, I'd say the less christmas really, I mean, there is, it just maybe, hey, it's a silent night, maybe I'm below on Earth, it's Christmas, but it's kind of like the the less Christmassy special hour of you know, the Ten Doctor Zero. And what the episode is pretty much about is that the Time Terror has crashed into the TARDIS. The Doctor's like, okay, what the hell just got? What just happened? And finds out that there is a uh, cruise ship, a uh, space cruise ship that is calling itself the Time Terror, not not knowing why it's popular. And it hap- and then. What ha- what happens to this Titanic? Actually, what happens to the real Titanic? Except it being iceberg, it's as uh, asteroids, and and when you know a bunch of crew members and and uh, and um, passengers have sadly lost their lives. There are these along with the Doctor have these like uh, about seven individuals. And the doctor's like, I'm going to get you off. I'm the man. I'm 903 years old. I, I, I'm the man who's going to save you, save your life. And 306 uh, million people down below because the Titanic is about to crash into Earth. And if the Titanic crashes into Earth, it might wipe uh, a basically the entire world. And this episode is pretty. Okay, let's be honest. The reason people remember this one. It's two reasons. One, the Titanic aspect of things, and two, who they got as the companion for this episode, and that is Kari Gano. Um, when I first I first time I saw it, I didn't know her as a actress. I knew her as a singer, um, and it's her acting is not bad. I mean, you know, it's not Oscar worthy or that, but it's, she does a really it, you know, she does a decent, really good performance. I mean, basically, you know, when, you know, she gets transported onto Earth and, and you know, Astra, that's, uh, that's her, her character's name, Astra, and she's like, um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a store, but I'm, uh, it's an alien shop, it's, and it stinks, and it's great, and all kind of stuff. Um, the personalities between the, the, the survivors, are pretty much there of stereotypes. I mean, you know, we have a couple who are slightly overweight because they like food, so like the be all like food, food, food. You have the the old uh, man who um, pretty much has uh, pretty much have one earth information, like talking about how you know any moment now we, you know the human race starts boxing and stuff like that. You have the dickhead uh, guy who's like all about the money, always pulling people down, and he's thinking th- this scenario he's going to change. He doesn't spoil it. And number, t- uh, and of course you got the you know like the R two D two robotic um, alien, you know cyborg. Uh, what was it? Bang Bang Laka or whatever. Um, you know they kind of fall into the stereotypes, which you're kind of thinking like. Okay, for 17 minutes, you're kind of thinking maybe Felicity's character's a little bit more. But, you know, if the I so, you know, when they do die, they kind of get, you know, gets a little bit more attachment, except they one character. Um, the Doctor driving, you know, flying the Titanic, even if it's over Buckingham Palace, which is kind of funny. I mean, here's the thing. I seen the crowd, right? I can't help myself and make like when the conversation happened, <laughs> like you know, with the idiot lad. I can't help myself. People like, be like, you know, watching the crowd. Meanwhile, people's faces are getting getting bited off. Like you know, I can't help myself. <laughs> but anyway, um, but yeah, this is a, a really fun episode that most of the Rusty Davis's uh, Christmas special are. They know bad or horrible um they, you know there's always in that fun category to say you know here's a fun story 